GW501516, also known as Carterine. What is it? Well, it's a PPAR agonist. It increases our endurance, our stamina, improves our insulin sensitivity, and our cholesterol. It was designed to be exercise in a bottle for people who don't want to exercise but still have the health benefits of exercise. Does it actually rise up to that level of expectation? Yes, for some people. If someone is extremely metabolically damaged and they don't exercise and they take carterine, it will result in the similar benefits to as if they exercised. But what happens when one of us who are already in shape uses it? Well, it's not as spectacular as some people think as far as burning fat. It doesn't just burn tons of fat like a miracle, like some other supplements, but it increases endurance like a miracle. I remember the first experiment that I did with carterine, actually long, so many years ago, 22 years ago is the first time I took carterine. I'm 42 years old now, so I was 20 years old at the time. Remember, I never started using steroids until I was age 30, but I had experimented with a lot of other chemistry before that, and uh, carterine was one of the early research chemicals I started experimenting with more than 22 years ago. And my first experiment was to go on the elliptical, see how many calories I can burn in one hour, and then do that every day, chart the progress, and then take the M take the carterine, the GW501516, and see how much it increased my exercise capacity. So the first time I did an elliptical, I got 600 calories in one hour, and it was exhausting, it was tiring, it was difficult, it was painful. And the next time, maybe I got 650 calories, maybe the next time 675 calories, then the next time 700 calories. So naturally doing the cardio every day, I was increasing my endurance, increasing my ability to tap into body fat for fuel, the ability to do cardio. But then when I took the carterine, I went from 700 all the way up to 1,000 calories in one hour. So that's like a 33% increase in my cardiovascular and exercise performance just from 20 milligrams of carterine. That's where it's a miracle. So even though most people are buying it for fat loss, actually, I think of it more like a performance enhancer that allows us to do more cardio easier because it's also feels better. Like, like doing cardio or pushing your body really hard, it's painful, your body resists you, your body's trying to conserve its energy for survival. But on carterine, it just opens up the gateway. It's like, okay, here's all this body fat to use for fuel. And it's like you have plenty of fuel, plenty of energy, and you can just keep going with stamina and energy. The probably the most effective use for it of all, by far, is when someone is transitioning from being metabolically damaged or a very high carbohydrate diet to a carnivore diet or intermittent fasting or calorie restriction or a low carbohydrate diet because the body has to learn how to use fat for fuel. The longer you've been eating carbohydrates and your body's been relying on carbohydrates for fuel, the more addicted your body's gonna be to that energy pathway. And if we use carterine, then it makes it just as easy for our body to pull energy from fat as it is from carbohydrates, from glucose, from glycogen stored in the muscle and, li and liver. So what happens is the, the people who force themselves into difficult diets of low carbohydrates or fasting, they suffer from very low energy and crashing their metabolism and their body not switching over to fat burning efficiently and it taking a lot of time for them to adapt. Whereas with carterine, if they switch to these low carbohydrate diets, they deplete themselves of, of carbohydrates, their body's able to access the body fat for fuel very easily, very efficiently. And they won't have this drop in energy, this drop in productivity, they won't feel bad. So carterine, is an absolutely almost irreplaceable, miraculous supplement when it comes to transitioning to these diets. Also for sports, um, athletes that get on carterine, and this is of course why it's banned by 
all of the uh, sporting associations. An athlete on carterine is going to absolutely dominate a natural athlete. I mean, 30% more stamina in something like soccer or basketball or running or anything that requires endurance and performance, the carterine is, is it, I agree, it's an extremely unfair advantage. And then for sedentary people, if I'm designing a protocol and someone just refuses to work out, they just want exercise in a bottle. Well, carterine is one of the components of that. Next, what are the side effects? And then what do we stack it with? The side effects of carterine, I have not seen any. There are two potential side effects that people talk about, though. One is cancer, which, again, I've been using it for 22 years, and I don't have any cancer, and I've done all the tests. Uh, I don't know anybody who's developed cancer from carterine. In fact, it may actually prevent cancer just as much as it could cause cancer. But if you read online about it, you'll see them referencing a rat study where they overdosed the rats for the entire duration of their life. And this is a PPAR agonist that's working through a genetic pathway, flipping switches that are not meant to be flipped all the time. So I, I think it's, it's ridiculous to be on carterine 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, the rest of your life anyways, because you don't need to flip this metabolic switch all the time. If you're not doing cardio and if you're on vacation, then we just take that time as a break. Uh, or if we're bulking, we just want to put on a lot of weight, a lot of size, but we're not interested in muscle endurance, we're not interested in fat loss, then we just don't use it during that time. So we just use it as needed. I keep it on the shelf. If I need energy that day, if I'm dieting that day, if I need endurance that day, or if I need to repair my cholesterol, okay, then I take, then I take the carterine. So that mitigates that side effect. And the other side effect, people say if you're building a lot of muscle while you're on it, then that muscle is likely more to be endurance muscle. It's going to program the new muscles to be endurance fibers instead of muscle building fibers. Well, yeah, maybe this is a potential concern, but I'd say just build more of each muscle fiber. Build more fast twitch muscle fiber, build more slow twitch muscle fiber. Don't worry whether you're building 70% uh, fast twitch and 30% slow twitch or vice versa. Just build more muscle. And that'll more than make up for it. So if I wanted to stack it with something so that I make sure I don't end up just looking like an endurance athlete, then I would stack it with a SARM, something on the androgen receptor pathway, something to build muscle, something like a low side effect like AC262 SARM or RAD140 SARM, for example. Now, what else to stack carterine with? Well, if we're trying to accomplish fat loss, then we, we, we combine it with other fat loss things that work through different pathways. So for example, something for the thyroid, like all day shred from Enhance is a fat burning product that has something like 12 different ingredients to burn fat over multiple different pathways, especially over the thyroid pathway. And you combine that with a carterine, now you burn a lot more fat. Um, could just combine it with growth hormone products that release body fat from the fat cells. And then the carterine helps you use that body fat for fuel. Uh, and then if I wanted to use carterine for like health and longevity, if that was the intent, then okay, I didn't, I'd stack it with longevity things. There's nothing that it interacts badly with that I can find. So it can be stacked with anything. It's just what could you stack it with that would be extremely synergistic. Um, well, it could be part of a muscle building protocol because for some people they're limited by how hard they can train because they get tired in the gym. So by using carterine, they can train harder and longer in the gym, which could result in more muscle growth. And then for, for fat loss, uh, like extreme rapid fat loss, back to the fat loss matrix, it's the carterine plus something on the growth hormone pathway plus all day enhanced all day shred plus a stimulant. So carterine is not a stimulant, even though it's a fat burning, energizing supplement, it's not actually activating the beta cells that something like a caffeine or a fat burning stimulant would activate. And it's very synergistic with that because those will release fat from the fat cells and the carterine will help utilize that fat more easily for energy. Caffeine is my worst favorite fat burner, but there's plenty of other ones like synephrine, yohimbine. There's a new uh, enhanced product called Shred that has a stack of different stimulant-based and other fat burners in one. Also increasing mitochondrial function in combination with carterine would end up in a lot more fat burning. For example, methylene blue, PQQ, which is in all day shred, 
MOTC, which is a peptide. I mean, the easy thing, easiest thing is just to stack carterine with enhanced all day shred with shred with MK677 if we're not going to overeat on the MK677. So like MK677 at night, for example. And this stack would produce very rapid fat loss. And we'd also have energy during it because the carterine would be helping us use that fat that we're releasing for actual energy to be utilized so that we have energy during the daytime. So our body on carterine is running off of our fat for fuel instead of running off of the glucose glycogen for fuel and therefore tapping into muscle. Carterine is also anti-catabolic. It prevents muscle loss because when your muscle cells run out of glucose glycogen, then they have to break down muscle tissue to get fuel. But the carterine allows you faster access for fat for fuel. And so your body can switch over into fat for fuel much quicker and therefore preserving a lot of the muscle that would have otherwise been catabolized to produce energy in between transitioning from, uh, you know, the glycogen in your muscle to using the fat as a fuel source in your muscle. And then one final tip about using carterine and, and extreme dieting is the you'll burn more fat and your body will be more responsive if you lift really heavy weights for low amount of reps and then really high reps, but not so high that you're breaking down muscle tissue. So I think the biggest mistake people are making when they're trying to do fat burning and their body's depleted is they're avoiding the heavy weight, but that's when they should be lifting even more heavy weight. Be swollen, swollen, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution.